ba 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 da 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 ma 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 ma. The word mother plus its many different forms like mum, mom, mummy, and mama get tossed around a lot by people of all ages. Those are only English versions of the word mother, however. Yet, if we look into the world of other languages, we notice a similar trend. They all sound resoundingly similar. It's fairly common for words to sound similar in other languages. This is because languages often relate to one another, like actual mothers and children. But mother takes this idea to a whole other level. For example, in German, mother is Mutter. The English and German version sounding similar shouldn't be too surprising, as these languages are very closely related. But then we also have the French Mir and the Spanish Madre, which sounds similar to mother and one another. These are Romance languages who so aren't as directly related to English, but are still part of the Proto-Indo-European family. Even further flung parts of the Indo-European family sound similar. Take the Hindi Ma, or even the Persian Morda, which relate to English as they both come from Indo-European, but are very different branches of it. It. But this doesn't end here. Even languages that don't relate to English or aren't part of the Indo-European family use words that sound similar, like the Mandarin Mama or the Ojibwe Omamama. Pretty much everywhere you go in the world, what people call their mum sounds resoundingly the same. So how on earth did languages all across the earth end up having such similar words for mother and its many short forms? One of the first things we need to understand about this word of mother and its many forms is as a resoundingly old word. Mother is actually thought to be one of the oldest words still used on the planet. In 2017, a research team compiled a list of 23 words which they considered to be the oldest. Mother was on here as well as words like I, hand, fire, what, and bark, as in the stuff on trees, not the sound that comes out of a dog's mouth. These words were selected because similar forms of them were used in at least four of the major language families on our planet. What's interesting about this list of words is that many of them relate to very natural or basic things, like hands or fire in example. These are concepts we have been able to understand for most of human history. We've had hands since the dawn of humankind, and fire has played a pivotal role for humans all across the planet. Likewise, mothers have been around for as long as humans have too, so it's understandable why this word is so old. The oldness of this word does help us somewhat explain why this word is so similar across languages. The word of mother would have come from the same root word in these different language families, and then as more languages sprung from those initial languages, as the families grew, their word for mother would have all been pretty similar. That helps us understand why mothers are similar in languages from the same family. But as we mentioned, this phenomenon is a trans-language family issue. Languages unrelated to one another use similar words for their mums. To help us understand why this is the case, we need to look into the people using the word of mother or mum or mama the most. Tiny little babies. Before we continue, I want to say a huge thanks to my most recent patrons and super thanks leavers. So huge thanks to new patron Laman Latif and super thanks leavers Stephen Coghill 4323 and Juan Luca Bonnet 31. Patron is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad free videos, a chance to say what Name Gets Explain, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. Conversely, if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. Anyway, back to babies. Babies and young children have these specific steps they go through when acquiring language. This starts before they even learn one specific language. A newborn baby in Vietnam and a newborn baby in Poland will make the same sounds before they learn what will most likely be their native languages of Vietnamese and Polish respectively. One of the first steps they go through is the babbling stage. This is when young children are only able to make simple single sounds. These sounds are usually a consonant sound followed by a vowel sound and they usually repeat them consecutively. This sort of sounds like ba 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 or ma 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 ma. It's from this latter example of babbling as to how we can start to understand why mother is such a universal word. 
Babies all across the globe are saying ma 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 before they even understand what will become their native tongue. From one source I read, it's around the 8 month mark when babies start to understand their specific language. What this means however is that with doting parents all across the globe hearing their babies go ma 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 and thinking that the sound they are making relates to them, specifically their mothers. And this is also the same route we get the word of dad from too with the babbling of da 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 da. And it's from this ma 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 babbling from babies who don't even speak a specific language yet that parents and people all across the globe in unrelated languages form the word of mother and its many variations. This is the leading theory as to why mother is so similar in many different languages. Yeah, most of the time language and words aren't coined by smart people or Greek philosophers with big beards. In this case, it's just from babies uttering nonsense. And that's the big thing with this. When babies go ma 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 ma, they aren't really specifically referring to their mothers. We adults have just interpreted it as that. Probably to make us feel special that our kids are finally starting to recognize us. They have no idea what's going on. They're, they're babies for God's sakes. Yeah, sorry if you're a new parent and your baby has just got ma 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 and you're all proud. That, that baby probably has no idea what it's saying, but if it makes you feel special, good for you. One theory states that the ma 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 babbling more likely means food or hungry in the brains of babies and we've applied it to mothers as that's where the food comes from. This also explains the origin of the word mammary too as in mammary gland as that's where milk is produced the food for babies and likewise it gave us the word of mammal as the defining trait of all mammals like us and camels and the platypus is that we produce milk for our young. I mean I, I don't personally, but that's more an issue with men. We, we should really sort that one out. Finally, it's also worth highlighting that mother isn't the same in every single language. For example, there's the Sami Irni, the Japanese Haoya, and the Esperanto Petrino. So mothers go by many names, but most of the time just mum will suffice. And happy Mother's Day. I mean, I think we're, we're close to Mother's Day, aren't we? I, I honestly don't know. It's different all across the globe and I get confused easily. It's probably Mother's Day somewhere right now when you're watching this video anyway. Let's just go with that. Let me know what you call your mum in your language, especially if you have a cute pet name or something. I love personal language shared between just families. And of course, please share a topic down below which we could cover in next Monday's Name Explained video. It could be about literally anything and the topic can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explained video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and by donating just one dollar a month. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself. But don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT. And don't forget to join the Facebook page, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, all, take care. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this. Should we film? Three, two, one, go. But then we also have the French Mir. Mir. I should have checked how to pronounce that. Hmm. Ojibri, Ojibri. I'm going to check how to pronounce that again. One moment. Oh, I'm standing on things. Okay, I'm back. Ojibwe. 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 I should have checked how to pronounce these things. Mother and its many forms. Is that sort of as <clears throat> similar in languages from the section? We need to look into the... Cool, we're done. Thank you.